I'm on. Hello, folks. We're back. It's Wednesday, July the 3rd. Part number five. Part number five, yeah. Uh, last week, we uh, fit the, uh, the back panel, and I've tooled it. I don't know if you can all see it. We'll look at it in just a second. You just keep on going. But uh, I can't put it on yet because I've put the skirts back on, which I've tooled now and I block them in, and I don't want to take them off until I fit the, the front rigging, which is what we're going to do today. So anyway. Let's, let's take a look at your saddle on the tree. And I can see it from, from right where you're at. So we, I put the little message in the other video that said, make sure you tool before you block in your skirts. So now we've got our skirts back on, the tool blocked in. Uh, so we can see our nice tooling on there and then put your cable up across the street there, uh, across the seat. Yeah. Yeah, it would go back here behind the camera like this. Yeah. So just lay it there. So no flowers on it, just, just yeah, some leaves? Yeah, just a couple leaves and some, some vine work. Very good. Got our back rigging on. Yeah, got the fork covered. And it's sweated down pretty nice. I've got a couple little creases that I couldn't get to go away, but I think they'll cover with the seat and the, and the tooling that I put on it. So there we go. But the tooling will be one of the last things that I do on the on the fork because I need to fit the seat and get it to situated first. Yeah. But anyway, today we are going to uh, fit the uh, front rigging on this, and this is an in skirt rig saddle. So this, this will be part of the skirt when all is said and done. So I've got a ballpark pattern here, which is fairly close. Let me see here. It's fairly close. I wanna bring this down just a bit. And probably come up here. Anyway, I got a new piece of paper. I'm going to transfer this pattern to this, this piece of paper and alter it a little bit. Come down a little bit right here. I'm going to come in a little bit right here. See what happens there. Now I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to use this other knife. I don't like to use my good knife cutting patterns, so I'm going to use this as my pattern knife. Everything is basically the same other than I made this bottom tip a bit too deeper and I cut a little bit out of this uh, deal that goes behind the, the bars. We'll see how this works after I get it cut out. Fitting parts is just a matter of trial and error, for me, anyway. I don't know, a lot of people might do things different than I do. All right, let's see what kind of difference we've made here. Can you see me from there, Tony? I sure can. This part looks pretty good here. And actually, come in a little bit here. Thank you. 
there. Down another eighth of an inch there. I'm just going to do that on the leather when I cut it rather than alter this pattern again. So I'm going to put this down here so I don't mess it up. I'm going to wet these two pieces of leather. Coming over to the wet box. Slick this out a little bit. Just a little bit more here. trying to make this so it uh, fits on the skirts that I've got already on the saddle. I don't want to alter the skirts. Alright, let's cut this out and see what we have. This is a good piece of firm leather and it needs to be because this is the rigging for the front. This is the part that actually is probably the most structurally important on the saddle. Right 
there. Also, way down here. We don't need all this up underneath the bars of the saddle. Okay, let me get a couple of nails because I'm going to tack this up here because I also have to locate where I'm going to put my uh, rigging plate. That is basically how that's going to fit on there. We'll be set basically seven eighths of the way from, from the center of this ring to the center of the fork of the saddle. The, the center of the fork of the saddle would be full level. So seven eighths of the way is a bit further back. And I'm not going to measure this exactly, but that's about where I want. I want it to be pretty parallel to the ground. Let's see, just about like that. Okay, now I'm going to take that back off. These galvanized nails really grip.
Okay. Now then. Got to think about this for a second. Get my handy circle device here. I just use a saddle soap candy, it makes a nice arc. All right, I'm gonna cut that and see where I am. I don't know, can you all, can you see that from overhead? Yep. I've got that plate fit in there. Okay, I'm gonna punch those two holes and see. Four holes, I guess it is. Okay, I think that's going to work. So I've got it. Latigo is going to hang from this slot, and then you'll feed it through this slot to actually cinch your horse down. Okay. I'm going to put this on backwards on the other side. I'm not going to turn the saddle around, but I just want to see how, how close I am. Just see if you can use that one for a pattern? Yeah, which I am. Remember, left and right, not right and right or left and left. Thank you. 
Those are really good pieces of leather. They are not scrap by any means. I've already got all the little stuff like rosettes and rig catchers cut, but if I didn't, those are the pieces I would use. Well, I went back to the first video and I was time stamping it uh, that we did uh -huh. when you were cutting out pieces. And I remember when you were cutting out this, it was high on the list of being the first things to be cut. Yes. Because, like I said, it's one of the most important structural parts of the saddle. Yeah, I think first you did your very big, your biggest pieces. Maybe your seat, mm -hmm. then your skirts. Then you tried to do a fender, but you said, whoops. <laughs> that one little piece had a hole in it. Yeah. yeah. And then we went straight to the rigging and found spots for them. Yep. Yeah. Whenever you're looking at leather and you've got your pieces, you know, you got you where you're on at on the sides of it. Do you are you also feeling for the touch to feel if it's squishy or the grain structure in it? Well, sure. Yeah. The most important part though is the higher on the back it is, the more firm it's going to be. The back is the most firm part of the leather. So if you've got a a, a real loose piece of leather that's loose up on the back it's probably not to what you want anyway so when you're uh, choosing sides of leather take that into consideration yeah That's going to work right. So now I've got some skiving to do. I'm going to, I'm going to skive this edge right here, all the way around to here. And this edge here, I'm going to taper off quite a ways. Is all of that going to a feathered edge on there? Uh, no, this up here will go to a feathered edge. Around, from around here, we'll go to about to probably two, th I'll cut off two thirds of it. And back here, I will cut off about two thirds of it. Cause I, I want a little bit of meat left cause I'm gonna stitch this part right here. Gotcha. Yeah. I wanna mark this. You just mark in the same spots as you mark them. Yeah. I'm going to get the branch edge in here. Let's drop it up a little bit. 
Scrap on This edge here, I just want to taper it Come off. Come right where your pencil is. There you go. I want I want to taper this off, so it so it doesn't just take a sharp drop off because it's going to actually fit on there. It needs to look pretty smooth. Probably a third of the meat that's on there. That's about right. Here again, I'm using a French edger. Y'all can use whatever you want to to do your skiving with. Some of it I'll do with a round knife, some of it I'll do with a French edger, some of it with a safety skiver. Some of it with a French skiving knife. Just depends on what I need to make it the easiest to get to that particular piece that I'm skiving. And this right here, you also want to taper this off from, from this thickness to this, but I'm going to cut this down to about a third. That's the piece that's right next to the rigging where your ring point is? Yes. Now you can see how I just tapered that off. Keep coming to me a little bit. There you go. I just tapered that off, but I've got about a third left on this edge and this edge. Then up here, I'm to about a feather. Yeah. Okay. Set it back on that glass. Right, right there. I can see that word. There you go. I can see that real good right there. Okay. Yeah, this I need a little bit more I know. Yeah, you just want to point out that spot right there on that glass. It actually shows up really well. Okay. We got a good cameraman today. <laughs> At least for the first part, we'll see how it works out. All right. Now let's go to the other piece and see if we can do about the same thing. Let's drop my knife again. Drop it up. This piece of leather is softer than the other piece, so it'll probably sky quite a bit easier.
we've been getting quite a few <clears throat> comments on the video. Is any from the ones that are the ones that we've already done? Yeah, the ones we've already done. Good. The people have been enjoying it. Uh, we've had a few more people that would subscribe to to be able to watch it live, and then some that are just enjoying watching the recorded videos. Uh huh. Well, good. Yeah, there was a guy in Saturday that said he'd been watching him. He was. You know, I don't know if any of you are trying to build a saddle along with me right now. But if I was you, I would wait till the whole thing's over. You know, take it all into consideration instead of just one part at a time. Because each each part of this needs to fit with it with the other parts. Yeah, I think really if you if you're going through this and you're going to do it, the very first part you could probably do along with it if you wait. If you wait a couple weeks and you think you could do like what you did in the first video of cutting out the parts, it'll still be all right. Okay. Yeah, I would say I would say that'll I'm be all right. You know, and I'm not saying you shouldn't build one along with me, but if you aren't familiar at all with the saddle, you should you should watch the whole thing. You know, it's like when you buy something a chair that you've got to put together from Walmart. The first part of the instructions say, read the complete instruction manual before you start this. You That's know? coming from a guy. Do you use maps too, Denny? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you ask for directions? You, you remember when you used to go somewhere and you would stop, like you get to the town and you'd have to stop at the gas station and say, where's this place at? We still do that. Do you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Now I'm going to wet this up just a little bit. Wetting the leather again. <laughs> okay. You gonna come in and make an appearance? Should I? Yeah. I haven't been here since episode one. Okay, check back in for episode Liz five. is back. Hi, Liz. Hey, Danny. Glad to have you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here. She's coming right along. Yeah. We're getting there. Mm mm mm. I love it. So does Butters. Butters also loves it. Yes, Butters oh. like, Butter loves everything involved in water. Now, I did bring Luna specifically because I knew that they would be on Yep. I know. Tony telling you he was editing your video from last week and it's like one minute of Butters drinking out of the, <laughs> the bucket. I ended up putting a timer on it so everybody will have to look. If you, if you didn't see that part of it, you'll have to find the part where Butters has a drink and there's a timer up in the corner. It fades in, and 47 seconds later, she finally walks away from the body. <laughs> Cause, only because Brandon beeped her away. Yeah, she's a, she's a drinker. She has a problem. She needs to go to so Don't we're just wait. finding our nail holes that we yeah, had so those I'm, in. I'm trying to go back in the same hole. Okay. Yeah. Are we still just tacking these or are we going to sell these Oh, you know, I'm tacking them. I've still got to tool this, too. So it's not going to be on there permanent today. Okay. I'll tool it. Then we'll take the skirts off and I'll put it all together off the saddle and stitch it together. Oh, I got you. So the rigging will be stitched to the saddle and then put back on with the skirt. Yes. Sorry, stitched yes. to the skirt. The rigging the will be part of the skirts when we put it gotcha. all back together. This create a little sleeve that your fork fits in. Hmm? Create a little sleeve that your fork fits in. Yeah.
I'm just going to kind of scribe a line about where I'm going to tool. I don't think there's any sense of tooling in the back of that, so probably just this. We'll see after I get it off. Okay. I'm going to take these two things back off and set them aside, let them stay flat. Then I'm going to take the skirts off and we will put the uh, back cantle on. I forgot to mark the skirts where, <laughs> where the rigging goes. So what I'm going to do is mark these four holes where my rivets are going to sit. And I'm going to mark this slot that I cut out. Are you getting better at this semi-recorded video situation? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, ask them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, taking them off now. Yeah, now I'm taking them off, boss. Sounds like cool hand loop. <laughs> Take them off, boss. <laughs> oh, and while you were gone, I finger carved under the gullet, too. Look at that. Could you be an oh, extra you fancy? Ahead, you went ahead and did it on after you got your your piece stretched around. So we got our tooling on our gullet here. Yeah. So and you waited to finger sorry finger carve that so that whenever you were stretching that with your cobblers pliers. Yeah. Well, I had actually I already had this nailed down. I had to take it apart to finger carve that, but then I nailed it back down. Yeah, but you didn't finger carve it before, so that you could you you're going to stretch Great. across that. Great. All right, carry on. Okay. It's a lot of pens holding the skirts on. Yep. Well, this is where we blocked it in. See, we had to make it take the shape of the bars, mm -hmm. and those nails keep it there until it dries good and cures. Yeah, that looks good. I like how there's like shadow carving on the back of it. What's that? Shadow, sh shadow oh, carving. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ghost carved. Ghost carved. All right, well, I'm gonna go work on catalog stuff. But it was good to see you. You too, thanks for coming in. Bye guys. Do you want to, you know, when you all are doing this, you definitely want to let your skirts dry good before you start taking it back apart. Because what I'm doing here would definitely change the shape of it if it still had any moisture in it. Friday when we come back, hopefully, I don't know, well, I probably won't have it tooled, have the front rigging tool Friday because tomorrow we're not here. You're right. But before I put it together, I've got to put some plugs in around those uh, rigging plates. And I definitely want to show you that. Now when I if I tack these skirts back on, which I will, I won't put these nails in that I use to block the skirts in. I'll just put these ones that, that hold the skirts on the bars themselves. Now let's just set these skirts aside. Put the horse, the saddle back on the horse here. this out of my way. I'm going to put these riggings and the skirts over on this tape. Put them out of the way. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is go off camera and wet, and wet this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Got them all set to do this. Should have asked more questions. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to try and locate this just like it was when I first fit it. I've got it tooled so I don't want to really smack around on it too often. Is this you're just finding your holes that you had put in here before? Yes, yes, that's how I'm relocating it, trying to get it back in exactly the same spot because that's how I marked for my tooling. So hopefully my tooling will be symmetric. Oh, yeah, because when you did this, you marked your center line. That's right. It looks pretty good. I need my bench pad. I gotta turn it upside down here. Stick a nail in the bottom. That's permanent, you guys. So I set that all the way in there because that nail is that's where it's gonna stay. Okay. I'm going to take these two back out. I'm going to spread some of that dextrin paste on this. We're no longer going to know it's a Will James. That's right. You're on your own. Just guess at it. And there again, you could use contact cement if you want to here, or any other kind of cement that you decide you're going to use. You like this for the stiffness it's going to add? I like it. Yeah, look at this. I Feel mean, how hard that got. It's rock solid. I don't know if they, this part up on the fork, I mean, it's hard, hard. And there's, on this roll here, there's nothing that's holding that other than just that's leather right. turned back on itself. We didn't stitch it or nothing. That's right. I mean, and it's harder than hard. Yeah, it didn't go in anywhere. Didn't put it in an oven or nothing. Just put some Dextrin <laughs> paste didn't, on Didn't bake it. <laughs> you can't say it's shaking bacon, you helped. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Okay, now I'm gonna nail these two down tight, right back where they were. brought a nail set this time instead of using that other hammer. Okay. You reduce it to a nail set. Right. Like a hammer mode. Right. Okay. Put that out of the way. Now we're going to start, we're going to shape our Cheyenne roll. All right, 
you're gonna have to be i know this is something that people have always asked us about doing like cheyenne rolls anytime we talk about faddles cheyenne roll comes up yeah there's there's two types of uh, camel rolls one is some people call it a pencil roll i just called it a straight up binding a straight up binding but this is a cheyenne roll the back of it actually turns so we're peeling back our finished candle piece all the way down to the top of the tree yeah you want it i want it to be flush with with this with this plane on the on the back camera was this mostly done in cheyenne wyoming or why cheyenne I, I couldn't tell you, but I would say, Cheyenne, Wyoming is is where the name comes from. Myself plenty of leather here, so I'm gonna have to trim some off, but I'm not even gonna come close to the finish dimension yet. Okay, just kind of kind of eyeball this. rid of some excess leather. That's done. Now I'm gonna wet this filler back up. Now I'm just gonna do that with water and a sponge. Yeah, I don't see you turning that upside down in the tub of water. Yeah. And I got some on that back rigging, so I'll just wet the whole thing. See, if we weren't doing this as a live video, I would have probably put this uh, filler on as I was putting the back camel on, or just before, so it would still be wet. But just for you guys, we're doing it like this. And this will work just as well. This is just a stiffener. That's all this does. Yeah. 
you got to make sure everything you want to make this as tight a corner as you can underneath here. Probably going to have to do this like I did the fork cover. I'm going to have to worry this throughout the day while it's drying to get it to shape up nicely. Because this part right here is kind of wanting, it's not wanting to do what I'm wanting it to yet. It'll change its mind eventually. When you leave this, when you get it all shaped up, you need to have it just perfect because that's the way it's going to stay from here on out. But anyway, can I turn this around and show them the, the back side of it? I was looking at that camera. Okay. You can see the, the back panel there, how it's shaped up. You hold it like, you hold it like that and let me zoom this camera to where. What am, I, what am I looking at? I just wanted them to see the back panel here after, after it's turned and be real still. Partially shaped. I think that's a pretty good shot of it right there. Okay. You all can see it. It, it came out pretty well. <laughs> Parts like this are hard to get symmetrical because you take them apart after you after you fit them. And then you got to put them back together and hopefully they'll be just exactly like they were. Well, that's like when we first when we first um, set that Channel piece in there. That's why you marked your tooling spot. You can see whenever it gets up there. I mean, it's right up against where your roll is at. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it came out pretty good. Yeah, it looks real good. You know, the top of this, you aren't going to see very much of the top of this because it's going to be covered up by the by the channel binding. See, the seat's going to go over this, and then another binding over that. So they'll actually be one, two three, five thicknesses of leather here that you're going by. So on, on this piece, you'll, you'll have the seat, which is number one. Yep. Then you'll have the filler, which is number two. Then you'll have the back panel, which is number three. And then you'll have the binding, which is one, and it rolls around to two, which makes five. There you go. Math. So, so it's a pretty, pretty heavy piece back here. And that's hand stitched, right? That'll be that hand, hand, exactly hand stitched, hand yes. But that'll be, that's basically the last, if I can think, I think that's the last little bit of construction that we do is hand stitching the back panel and trimming it. Okay. We're gonna roll our way to Cheyenne now? Let's roll to Cheyenne. Okay. All right, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna do next here. We'll wait. Oh, let's plug the skirts. That's something I can do. Back to the table? Yeah, but I'm working. Take this off. Yeah, we'll be here on the table. We ready? Go for it. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to take these skirts back apart. Cut these laces. They're just temporary tem lacing. They're just temporary. Okay. 
Now I've got those other skirts that I had blocked in already that I couldn't use the tool on, but I can use them for the for the uh, plugs. Then I'm going to put this on here and first thing I'm going to do punch a couple of holes here so I can locate the other side. Are those the rigging plugs you put Yeah, the these are just mark? where the rigging plates are. And I'm just going to match these all up. I had to I had to find this spot here because our plugs I want to go a little bit ways past that. So the plug does is stiffen the skirts so I'm just going to plug this part of it I'm not going to plug up on the bars I'm just going to plug this part of it I'm not going to plug up on the bars because I don't want to change that dimension on the horse's back I will let it crawl up just a little ways but not very much and so speaking of uh, plugging what are we what do we what do you mean by plugging i'm just adding a piece of leather i'm i'm doubling doubling this part of the skirt just this part okay because i want it to be thicker just just to add some body so it doesn't curl easily <clears throat> wait a second okay i'm trying to plug the back end of it here the front end of it and i want to plug the back end of it good thing we talked about that yes it is it's a very good thing how I can situate this. All right, just like that. Right 
here. Now, like I say, it's just gonna cover this part right here. So I'm just gonna put a weight over there. A couple of weights now and just kind of eyeball this. this because I don't want to, I want to trim it after I get it all cemented together. I was gonna put you a little tape mark. Now you know where the center of the camera is at. All right, let's see how I did here. Now you can see I just I just followed the shape of that bar coming around, but I'm also gonna skive this off, and I'm also gonna rough rough this up. But I'm gonna cut my other one first. using this as a pattern for my other one. Y'all that didn't make a mistake on your skirts like I did, you can use any of that scrap leather that you've got left from your sides of skirting. Now, let me scratch that out. Okay, I'm going to the water tank and get these wet. going over and skive these down. I'm just going to skive this to a feather. I'm just going to skive this edge to a feather all the way around and taper this off also to a feather.
French editor again. Okay, get going on skyped. All right. This one's a little heavier than this one. So I want to make look at my skirts. And this one's a little lighter, so I'm going to put the heavy one on the, the lighter side. That way they'll kind of even up. I'm 
just marking myself a line here so I know about where to glue to. And we're going to cement these together. Maybe I'll get myself a piece of paper. Glad I got the paper. <laughs> Plugs are a place where you can use a lot of really not too pretty leather. No one's ever going to see anything but the edge, the very edge of it after it's trimmed off. You do want to glue it fairly good, especially out on the outer edge of the skirt because you don't want that to come apart. I don't, I generally don't double cement that, but I do make sure I get it covered good on the outside. Okay, now I'm going to trim off some of this excess out here. Keep those fingers back. That was almost a disaster. Okay. Now my skirt's on there. That camera? Uh, yep, stay right there. <clears throat> Go for it. As you can see, I just got a double thickness of leather all the way to here. Now my, uh, my front rigging, I'm going to cover this part. So see how they kind of overlap a little bit? That's what we want. Now something else that I want to mention to you now, if you can see pretty well, can you kind of zero in from the top? Okay, as you can see, I've got two stitch channels here. But <clears throat> all saddle makers don't use two stitch lines, but I do. This inside stitch line. Go that way just a little bit more. Your way? You may be. Just uh, right up here. Can you talk about them right in okay. there? Okay. All right, I've got two stitch lines here. This inside one is what I'm gonna stitch the plugs on with. And I will also have two stitch lines on my, uh, my rigging panels. So I will stitch the plugs and the rigging panels on with that inside stitch line. 
Then after everything's all trimmed up, I will put the lining on and stitch it with the outside line. Now, the reason I do it, old Bob McCray, the guy that showed me how to build saddles to begin with, said, your repairman, 50 years down the line, when the lining wears out, he will love you for two stitch lines because he can take the, the skirt lining off and the plugs won't fall apart. And Tony, do you remember when we did that saddle? We the plugs came out and we had to glue those back together. Yeah, whenever it's, we paired, whenever we took the skirt off, they basically just kind of fell. Yeah, out. yeah, and that doesn't happen when you stitch them on separately from the lining. So that's the reason I do that. Plus, a lot of people think two stitch lines is stronger, but this has nothing to do with strength anyway. Some people just like the way it looks too. Yeah. I've crawled up on this bar a little bit more than I want to, so I'm gonna take some of that off of the front sheet. I don't have to trim so much. I guess I cut it a little bit closer. All right, that's that. Now I'm wondering what I should do. I want this to, to dry out. <clears throat> of course, I need to get my uh, front riggings panels tooled before I can put them on and actually attach the plates and stitch that all up. So, uh, when things get wet, you just gotta wait for stuff to dry. Yeah, this is one of those times. Yes, Because I've got to, I've got to work on this back candle throughout the day while it's drying. So what are we gonna do on the back candle left to do? Just keep shaping it because this part right here isn't wanting to shape up until it gets a little bit drier. But I'll keep shaping it. And kind of hammering on it, tapping on it, and making sure that everything's down flat. The way and all we're gonna do is, all we're gonna do is make it flat. We're not gonna be doing any rolling yet. No, okay. no. No, we're just gonna do more of what you watched me do for 20 minutes a while ago. Just hammer and stretch. Hammer and flat. Hammer and sure stretch, it's... yeah. Okay, well, that's all we got for today. We, we shaped our candle. We got our skirts uh, laid out for the, plug. the plugs got set our front uh, rigging in place. Yep. Got them ready for tool, and then so on Friday. Ho yeah. Hopefully, I'll have at least one of these panels tooled, and maybe we can put one skirt together. On we'll Friday. be able to fit up fit yeah. up one skirt. Right. Say bye, Denny. Bye, Denny. See you guys. <laughs>